This problem asks us to write the equation for a line in slope-intercept form with the given properties. The line goes through the points negative 4, negative 1, and negative 2, 5. When I look at this problem, I know that if I'm trying to write the equation for a line, I need to know the slope. And at this point, I'm not given the slope. So the first step I'm going to do is find the slope of the equation that goes through those two points. So I'll be using the slope formula. And the slope formula tells me the slope is equal to the change in y, y2 minus y1, between two points over the change in x, x2 minus x1. So rise over run. So in order to use that slope formula, I need to pick one point as point 1 and the other as point 2. It doesn't matter which I pick as which point. But I'm going to go ahead and pick the first one as point 1 and the second one as point 2. Then I'll have an x1, y1 here. And I'll have an x2, y2 here. So now I'll substitute the values into my slope formula. First, I'll we'll have the x2 and y2 values. So y2 is 5, y's will go on the top, and x2 is negative 2. Then I'm subtracting, and I'll go to my other point. y1 is negative 1. Again, the y values go on top. And x1 is negative 4. So I have 5 minus negative 1, which is the same as 5 plus 1. Negative 2 minus a negative 4, the same as negative 2 plus 4. Simplifying, I'll have 6 over 2, which is the same as 3 over 1, or 3. So I know that my slope of my equation is 3. Now I'm going to use my slope in one of these points in order to find an equation for the line. I know that in the end, I want to have the equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. At this point, I don't know y-intercept. Neither of my points had x uh, coordinate of 0, so I'm not given the y-intercept. But I do know a point and a slope, so I can use the point-slope form of the line. Point-slope form says I can take y minus y1, and that's going to equal the slope m times x minus x1. So in the point slope form, I need the slope and one point that I can call x1, y1. This is a new part of the problem, so I can choose either of my points to put into this. If I go ahead and choose the same one I called point 1 before, I'll have y minus the y value, negative 1, equals m, my slope, which is 3, times x minus the x value of the point I chose, which is negative 4. So again, when I have minus a negative, I always like to take the time to make that change to plus. And my goal is to get the form y equals mx plus b, is to, so to isolate y. And right now I have y plus 1, so I'm going to be getting rid of that. But first on this side, I'm, I have some simplification. So first I will simplify the right-hand side. y plus 1 equals 3x plus 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract 1 from both sides. y equals 3x plus 11. So now I have y equals 3x plus 11. I'll write that a little more clearly. So I have an equation in slope-intercept form. It has a slope of 3. If I wanted to double check that, I could plug one of my points into it and make sure it really was a solution. So I could check um, a point, and I'm going to check maybe the point negative 2, 5. I'll just pick that one as my check. So I'm going to put 5 in for y, negative 2 for x, and make sure it's true. So I'd have 5 equals 3 times negative 2 plus 11. Putting a little question to so that's a check. I'm seeing if the two sides are equal. Negative 6 plus 11. I'll end up with 5 equals 5. So my point checked in as a solution to this equation. I could also check my other point in, make sure it was a solution if I had the time and wanted to. But at this point, I feel pretty good about my answer. y equals 3x plus 11.